The danger with Theresa May's government is they're pursuing a harsh, chaotic Brexit, which will put at risk people's living standards, jobs, services. Um, when what we need, obviously, given people have decided to leave the European Union, is to make sure it's a Brexit that puts the economy first. And there are little signs that's going to happen. Um, we should obviously have a rational debate about immigration and people should be able to debate immigration in a sensible way. But when you have a government which is talking in a very inflammatory way of you know, floated, drawing up foreign lists of, of lists of foreign workers, uh, talking about immigration in a very hostile way, treating the referendum almost as, you know, like a conquering army where the remainers of this unpatriotic fifth column, I think is very dangerous for the future of the country. Uh, in the aftermath of Brexit, we've seen a surge in hate crimes uh, against people, whether it be based on the colour of their skin, whether it be the country that they're from. Uh, and we need now a unifying message that puts aside that bigotry and xenophobia, which I think most people in this country reject. Uh, and I think it's incumbent on the government to show leadership there. So I think, yes, obviously, it's very worrying for the future of this country when we have a Tory party, which has basically gone full-blown UKIP in lots of ways uh, and threatens, actually, the living standards a lot of people have voted to leave. They're the ones who will pay the price if the Tory government come up with a harsh, chaotic Brexit, which is what's on the cards at the moment.